need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space We ain't glad he gave us everything. If we do what our father say do, we'll get anything. Ice cream. My daddy take us to the park. He'll buy me that new football. I want. He'll buy me the video game. I want him to do. We don't care. We don't give a damn about none of that. That's our same nature. Some badass little kids. All right. That's what. Look across the street again. That's what you find in all of this. Why is it that we take on the philosophies of all the people that has us in chains? That has always had us in chains. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Newsflash, black man. Newsflash, Hispanic man. Newsflash, you are still captives in the land that you were brought to in chains. You are still captives to the man who came and slaughtered your people and moved you into reservation camps. Concentration, real concentration camps that remain standing to this day. Right. Come on. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. What does the Israelites say? We are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible say we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day when we were brought to as slaves, when we were brought to in chains. We are still here. We are still captives to the same captive from 400 plus years ago. Read. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So why were we scattered? If our father is God, why is it? Why is it that he let such a horrible thing as slavery happen to us? Why is that? How? What happened? What happened? Go to four. Go to four. Baruch four and 12, 26. You were not sent for your destruction. Right? Why is it that the Lord let that such a horrible thing happen to his children? How do we end up as here as slaves, brother? You from America? Where you from? So where you find yourself on the side? Excuse me. Where you find yourself on the side? Like American black, so-called? Right? America, is it 16, 4 and 16? It's in there somewhere, right? You, so you would be a so-called American black, right? So how did you end up on this side of the world? Oh, I got you. You guess or you know? That's what we, it's two, the 2020, that's what it then came to. They removed the, the history out of the classes now. They, it's taboo when you bring it up now. Brother, you know how we got here? We know how we got here. We gotta say it, we have to own our, That's that happened. That's real. We can't forget, 9-11, they, they, you forget about that? You can tell you ain't gonna be no, I guess they, you know, they destroyed them buildings. Them right. people over there went into, we gotta be the same way about our destruction. We gotta be the same way, you know why? So we don't fall into the same snare. Right. Right, watch this. Baruch chapter four and verse six. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. So the Most High God didn't allow us to be sold to the nations so that we are to be destroyed. Watch this. But because you moved God to wrath. We moved our God to wrath. We are not, guess what, bro? What's your name? Terry. Huh? Terry. Terry, I'm Jonathan. Guess what, Terry? Guess what? God told us how to behave. We didn't. We didn't. And he forgave us, and he forgave us, and he forgave us. Until we moved him to wrath. And when you look around, look across the street to the, in the gutter. Right? Look at the projects. Look at how we grew up. Look at how what our mothers went through, our fathers went through. That's the wrath of God. What did we do that we moved our God to wrath? He gave us everything. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 45. He gave us everything. Everything. The planet. We are, you understand we the Israelites, right, brother? Don't, don't worry about that. We the Israelites. We the Israelites. We were created, not born, and some of us are inherited. We were created to rule all of the Lord's creation. 
the squirrels, the grass, the air. We were created to rule it, including the people that he created. That's our nature. That's our what do you call it? Our uh, divine, uh, divine. That's the the. The, our divine purpose. You understand? Meaning our purpose from God. But what happened? What happened? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. No, no, 20, 40, uh, 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So remember, we just read the Lord didn't, didn't do this to us for our destruction. He didn't do this to us for our destruction. He did this because we made him mad, right? So like when you take your son and you spank him behind his butt, right? Or you put him in his corner, you tell him he can't have no ice cream, no video game, no TV, whatever, right? It ain't so he die. It ain't so that he can't take it no more, he explode, right? It ain't so he, 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 he one day he hates you even more. One day he turns again. That's not what you did it for. You did it so what? Huh? You discipline, so what? So why? Why are you discipline? That's right. You want him to obey you. You want him to obey you. So we understand that the simple, uh, what do you call it, principles. We understand those things. The Lord dealt with his children, us, the nation of Israel, the same way. The same way. What about when he, you tell him to do something, he go do it, but he storm all the way there. He doing this, he hops, boom, boom, boom. You say clean the dishes, he breaking some up. He in there washing them, yeah. but he making all that noise doing it. You gonna deal with him? Yeah, I gotta deal with you him. gotta deal with him. You got watch this. Read it again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God, your God, thy means your, thy God. Watch this. Read with joyfulness. With joyfulness, we're storming around doing. We gonna do it because destruction will come if we don't. A behind whooping will come if we don't. Right? But we ain't joyful doing it. Watch this. And with gladness of heart, and we ain't glad either. We ain't glad he gave us everything. If we do what our fathers say do, we'll get anything. Ice cream. My daddy take us to the park. He'll buy me that new football. I want. He'll buy me the video game. I want him to do. We don't care. We don't give a damn about none of that. That's our same nature. Some badass little kids. Right. That's what. Look across the street again. That's what you find in all of this. That's what you find in your neighborhood. Some bad little kids. That's what you find still in our communities, still in our, our nation of people. Some bad little kids. Watch this. For the abundance of all things. The rulership of all creation. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said, because you mad doing what I told you to do, you're going to serve your enemies. You're going to serve your enemies. And yes, the Lord has enemies, and so do you. That's right. You got enemies, and you know who your enemies are. You, you with me? You know who your enemies are, Terry, but you've been taught in this society, nobody's your enemy. Love everybody. No, but somebody, I, I ain't never put nobody in chains, but yeah, no, hey, love your enemies. Love those who hate you. Love you. But, okay, I'm going to, yeah, okay, love my enemy. But I ain't, you, they just killed somebody. They killed the whole land over there. They went and stole the oil, and they did a, no, love your enemies. Love those who hate you. That's what you told, Terry. That's what you told under a misconception of the Bible. Right. That is not what the Bible teaches, uh, Terry. And we have not read it for ourselves, so we don't know the difference. You understand? God said that you're going to do what? Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore, you're going to serve your enemies, not your friends, not those who you love, even though they, pers even though they, they hate you and all of that. That's not what that's talking about. That's not, it, your enemies are not the, uh, the, 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 the uh, I'm, I'm sorry, your, your brothers are who the Lord was speaking about, who Christ was speaking about, and hate your enemies. I mean, love your enemies. Go to Exodus 23 and 6. I'm going to show you that real fast. That's in the law. Real fast, so that we can get past that. Because that's what we taught. We taught everybody is your friend. Those who, they, somebody can kneel on your neck until you piss in the street, cry for your passed away mother and die and you still gotta love him ain't that what we taught Terry that's what we taught every day no matter what no matter what you gotta pass a Christian pastor standing in the middle of a plane right and what's his name we gotta put his name out I forget his name huh 
It did. It, they put they posted the brother. They got a pastor of a Christian, a Christian pastor, go in the middle of a plane, pull out his phallus, his penis, and piss on a sister. Broad daylight in front of everybody. Piss on a sister while she's sleeping. That's what we go through. And we taught, just love him, because he did that to you. That's all right, a man piss on you on a plane while you're sleeping. Love him. Love him. That's, what, that's, that's the misconception we talk. Watch this, read. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 4. If thou meet thine enemy's ox. If you meet your enemy's ox. In the, in the time of Exodus, what stranger was around us? What stranger? Nobody. It was only your brother. So if you meet your brother's ox, who you don't like, you know that he, 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 he still, he still uh, 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 got an issue with you. You jealous of him. He said, something, he said something slick about you. He stepped on your shoe, right? If you meet your enemy's ox, AKA your brother's ox, read. Or his ass going astray, read. Thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. This is talking about your brother of your nation, your kinsman. Cause we wasn't scattered in the time of Exodus. We wasn't scattered. We was all together. Now go to Leviticus 19. Go to Leviticus 19. Sister, you know what we're talking about? You know what we're talking about? Love your enemy. That's right. Oh, yeah. You think that, who you think your enemy is, sister? You say, oh, yeah. Who your enemy is? Everybody your enemy? I'm your enemy? No, I don't know you. You said everybody. Huh? So once you know me, then I'll be your enemy? No. That's not what the Bible said. We've been, yo, we jacked. Yo, it ain't got to make sense today. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we just read about some of the statutes that goes with thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. We just read it. Even if y'all got a problem, the Bible say y'all shall not hate. We shall not hate our brother in our heart. Our brother, our brother in our heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy what? Thy neighbor. So the Bible says your brother is your neighbor. But read on. And not suffer sin upon him. And not only that, to hate is to allow him to do evil. To allow him to sin and in turn get destroyed by the almighty God. Right. That's actually hatred. We don't know what love or hate is in our community. We don't know. So we accept anything we've been taught in Christianity, sister. You hear me? That's what we accept. Watch this. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge. Who are we talking about? Your brother, who is your neighbor. Right. Not the so-called white man, all the other nations around you. The Arabic man, the China man. Your brother is your neighbor. Read. Nor bear any grudge. Nor bear any grudge with your brother, with your neighbor. Read. Against the children of thy people. Against who? The children of thy people. So your neighbor being the other nations and where you got that from is a lie. Right. It is a lie. Christianity is a lie. Right. It is the doctrine of devils. It's the doctrine of your slave masters. That's what that is, sister. The Bible says you're going to hear a word behind you. That's right. You're going to hear a word behind you. Go to that, Isaiah 30. You know what I said? Isaiah 30 and uh, 20. Right? The Bible says you shall hear a word behind you. Go ye in it. Or walk ye in the ways that you hear behind you, sister. All right? Love, keep the commandments of God. That's right. We ended up as slaves in this country because we broke the commandments of God. That's we right. went against the commandments of God. Sisters are not supposed to be wearing pants, dressing like men. Right. Sisters are supposed to be dressing like princesses. Right. Come on. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way. The Bible says to, for us to walk a certain way. The Bible, the prophets will tell you, walk in the ways of the Bible. Walk in the ways of the laws of God. Right. Not in the ways of philosophy, Christianity, right. and all the lies that have been in our communities Deep. since the time we got off the slave ships. Bring it out. The Bible says, walk, this is the way. The laws of God is the way. Deep. Walk ye in it. Keep his commandments. Right. Not anybody's philosophies. Not any man's opinion. Right. Keep God's laws. Read. Walk ye in it. Read. When, thou, when ye turn to the right hand, 
And when you turn to the left, and wherever you go, whatever you hear, keep the laws of God. That's hear right. the laws of God. Deal with the laws of God. Right. That's the only way we can get up out of captivity. For those of you that have an ear. For those of you that care that you are even captives today. That's the only way we are to be free. Only God can destroy a nation like this. Right. Only God can preserve a nation under slaves. Because we ain't died, we multiplied in slavery. That's right. Yeah, we suffer. Yeah, we go through hell. But it's a magnificent, almighty power that maintains his people, even as we are destroyed. Give me that, even though you're bread of affliction. That's Isaiah. Watch this. Come on. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, even though the Lord feeds us with affliction, feeds us with all that happens to us in the ghettos, in America, all over the world, wherever we are as captives. Even though the Lord has allowed those things to happen to us, read. And the water of affliction, read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Your Christian church, your Christian pastors, not supposed to be hidden in churches. Not supposed to be hidden in buildings. Right. You're supposed to see your teachers. That's right. You're supposed to hear your teachers. Where you are. How many of you are going to church? Not many. And even if you do, it's only for certain days. Easter. Somebody going to go for uh, Lent. Right. Somebody going to go for Christmas. Mother's Somebody going to go Mother's Day. Right. Father's Day. A death. A, de a death read it again and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity why are we going through these afflictions because the Lord gave it to us because we do not keep his commandments right. we hate the ways of our Lord come on and the water of affliction yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore the Bible say your teachers won't be removed into a corner anymore you will see your teachers. That's the next, come on, read on. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. The Lord say, the real teachers of his commandments, the real teachers and prophets of this Bible, your eyes shall see them. Right. Your eyes, your eyes shall see the teachers of the Most High God. Teach. Who would those teachers tell you? That this Bible is the way. Bring it up. Don't follow me, follow God. Right. Follow, this, follow his commandments. Right. Follow this Bible. This is the way. Right. Walk ye in it. Right. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. Hmm. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. The Bible says that the Lord will give you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites pastors according to his heart. That's right. His heart. We've right. had lying pastors right. selling us and feeding us to the slaughter in Christianity for 400 plus years. Right. We've had that for four. I know this man. I know him. Do I know him? They know me. I, I'm no, I don't know. I'm sorry. You look like my neighbor. You look like my neighbor. But brother, the Lord said he going to feed he going to give he going to feed you with his knowledge. He, you going to see your teachers. We ain't going to be hidden in a corner. You understand or a building. Right? Our people don't go to church. Our people only go to church when somebody died or it's Easter or it's Christmas or it's Mother's Day or it's Lent or it's New Year's, right? That's the only time we go to church. The Bible say you're going to see your teachers. And he say that those teachers are going to feed you knowledge. Real pastors are going to feed you knowledge according to his heart, meaning the heart of God. Let me ask you a question, brother. Let me ask you a question. Why did we end up as slaves? What happened? Nobody else went through that, right? Why, why did this only happen to us, just us? You see the sign? Look at the sign for me, bro. Oh, I, I know, I'm just out here listening. Okay, so let me ask you, why, why did that happen to us? We went through that because of the curses of our generations from our ancestors. Right, what, 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 what did our, the generations of our ancestors do? We were disobedient to the commandment statutes of law. That's it, that's it. That's, it. Yeah. that's what happened. But he said, he told us that, right? He told us that in the Bible. He told us that in the Bible, right? Now give me repentance the, uh, in Ezekiel uh, 5 and 19. What was it? 5 and 19? 5 and 19. Ezekiel, that one. 18, 32. 18. Mm, I think it's. I'm thinking of Acts. You're right. It's 18. No, no, no. I want that in Ezekiel. Watch this. 18 and 30. Watch this. Watch this. Because 
we fell into this we fell into uh, 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 captivity, right? Well, we fell into sin and the Lord gave us or allowed us to go into captivity. He sent the enemy to take us as captives. That's what the Lord did to, to, uh, to punish us, to discipline us, right? So in this captivity, in this punishment, what is it that the Lord expects for us to do? That's it. Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves. The Bible says repent. Understand what you've done wrong. You understand that it's, we broke the commandments of God. Then he says, turn yourselves. Turn, meaning whatever you're doing, turn. Excuse me. Turn and do what the Lord says do. Turn and do what your father told you to do. Right? Watch. And turn yourselves. From all your transgressions. So it's say, and turn yourself from all your transgression. So that word transgression, what does that mean? What's the Lord speaking about? Sin. 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 Right? Watch this. Yes. Yep, you there. You in the spirit, brother. Right? Watch this. This is because we got to deal with precepts, right? Because it's a lot of philosophies in the world. And guess what, brother? I can be lying to you. Just like you can be lying to me. So what we got to deal with is the one who don't lie. That's right. That's what we got to deal with. Right? Watch this. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So a lot of times what we taught in this world, give me fringes. A lot of times what we taught in this world is that the, the, uh, the, the law is done away with. Right. That's the New Testament we just read that out of. Sin is the trans, that's for, uh, First John 3 and 4. Sin is the transgression of God's law. In the New Testament. So it's a confusion, it's a misconception that we don't have, the, the Christ did away with the law. Christ did not do away with the law. We must keep the laws of God. Right. We must. Watch this. Watch this. You, yeah, come on. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Now this is a law, brother. This is a law about how we to dress, right? Because we the sons of God. Right? Yes, son, you don't, you, I pray you don't let them just dress any kind of way, right? You dress them that's respect, with how it's respectable to you, right? Watch this. Speak unto the children of Israel. You are the children of Israel, brother. Come on. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Bible commands us, bids us, meaning command us to put fringes, to make fringes in the border of our garment. Our clothes don't come like this, right, with fringes. It says, make fringes. Read it again. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So no matter what kind of apparel you buy or you 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 got already, you have to make fringes. That's what the Bible say. I ain't, I ain't got no commandments, no laws. You understand what I'm saying? My commandments, my laws just do you if I ain't keeping this Bible, right? But God said, make you to the, to the children of israel the so-called blacks hispanics and native american right the the god says bid them those people that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments watch this throughout their generations that mean we because a lot of times you know we think oh that's old well yeah that's how we used to get out back then that's what our foreparents did but it says throughout their generations Throughout their generations. So as though, uh, even uh, just like you understand, we are here or we're sold into slavery because of the sins of our forefathers and former, our ancestors, right? In the same way we're dealing with the, the, the curses, we must also understand how to repent, how to turn back, how to turn, what to turn to. This is one of them. This is one of those things we turn to, turn from. You understand, brother? You got to put fringes. You're an Israelite. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.